chronologically confused about season one, version 2.0. Shout out to YouTube users Psycho Dad and Dr. Boberto for calling me out to explain my methods on the previous edition of this video. Because they did that, I was forced to look a lot closer at the details and I ended up rearranging the videos into a new order. So how did I do this? There are two episodes which date themselves, but for the remaining episodes I was not able to use quantitative data. I decided to analyze the episodes using only qualitative methods to identify the passage of time. First, I group them according to the accumulated snow and the seasonal cycle of the trees. I get that most of you will understand seasons, but for subscribers in other parts of the world, Canada goes through four seasons, starting with number one. During the winter, the trees have lost their leaves and there may or may not be snow on the ground. Number two, during spring, when it begins to warm up, the trees begin budding their leaves. See those little green things all over the branches? Those will grow and become the leaves. Number three, during the summer, the trees are in full bloom with their leaves. And finally, number four, during the autumn, the leaves will change color and fall off the trees. So now the grouping. Winter episodes include lose weight, sanest, money, she like, blindfold, and handcuffed. Snow can be seen in the outdoor shots of lose weight, sanest, and handcuffed. And bare trees can be seen in money, she like, and blindfold. But what about those trees? They're green right now, they aren't budding. In Canada, we have two types of trees. Deciduous, with leaves that fall off in the autumn, and coniferous, with needles or scales that don't fall off, and therefore they stay green all winter. In this shot, this is deciduous, and this is coniferous. Let's use logic to put the clues in some kind of order. Since lose weight and handcuffed both have a significant amount of snow on the ground, I'm gonna stick them together first. Next, let's compare hair growth to see which actually came first. Kenny's hair grows out over his ear and down the nape of his neck. Spenny's sideburns grow longer and the bit over the top of his ear grows out a bit as well. I can conclude that lose weight came before handcuffed. Can I say that they were consecutive as in handcuffed was filmed immediately after lose weight? No, only that lose weight came before handcuffed. Now, I have an actual date for the last day of money. The ticket from the track says 25 April 2003. It's a little bit fuzzy, so let's be sure. Let's look up the race results. Yeah, there it is. Petite Mermaid finished first on the 25th of April 2003. I can say that money ran from the 23rd to the 25th since it was a three-day competition. There's other dates on paper during the money episode, but I'm not going to use them. Just know that the horse track was the last day of the competition. I haven't made the money analysis video yet to prove it, but just trust me on this one, okay? The next episode I have a date for is Awake, which isn't part of the winter cycle, but just bear with me here. After 48 hours of competition, the guys go to a sleep clinic where the monitors say 10 a.m. on the 30th of April, 2003, so I can conclude that the Awake competition started on the 28th of April at 9 a.m. Awake is not part of the winter cycle because the day after the sleep clinic we see buds on trees, therefore I can conclude that Money is the last episode of the winter cycle and Awake is the first episode of the spring cycle. That's what I was after. I had a lot of trouble trying to find clues to place the remaining four winter episodes between Lose Weight and Money, so I settled on arranging shots of each guy from each episode by the length of his hair. This alone was quite a process because I was making all attempts to limit variability and sources of error. For example, there are several episodes where Kenny showers at the beginning of the competition, so his hair is wet. Wet hair will look shorter than dry hair because it's weighed down. So I needed to find frames where Kenny's hair was dry. Next, I wanted to make all the shots from the same side of the guy's head. Maybe Spenny's sideburns are uneven, so I wouldn't be able to fairly judge hair growth and grooming from week to week if I was using shots from different sides. So, in order to limit the margin of error, I needed shots mid-competition from the same side of the head every single time. I collected five headshots from Spenny and put them in an order that I was satisfied with. Notice Spenny's bangs getting longer. Then I collected five headshots from Kenny and put them in an order that I was satisfied with. Kenny was a bit harder to put in order just because his hair is so messy all the time, but I did it without referring to the Spenny arrangement. When I was done, I compared the orders and they were the same. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Lose weight, she like, handcuffed, sanest, blindfold, money. Now how can I validate the positions of these episodes? I thought she like should have been later because of the lack of snow in this shot and in this shot. After all, we'd just seen this much snow in lose weight and then we would see a whole bunch more in handcuffed. 
Well, Kenny recently hosted a live ream where he says, The girl from the season one, episode two, who do girls like more? So I'm going to consider that as validation and stick with she like as episode two. So that's the winter cycle. The first six episodes in chronological order are lose weight, she like, handcuffed, sanest, blindfold, and money. Let's talk about something else right here. This is a shot after leaving the transactional therapy session in Who is the Sanest? And this is the humiliation for Who is the Sanest? You see something wrong here? Why do we go from winter gloom to summer warmth? Because the humiliations were not always filmed immediately after the competition. So I will not be using humiliation footage to determine the order of the competitions. Furthermore, I will not be using any establishing shots of the house. An establishing shot sets up the context for the following scene to communicate to the audience where the scene will be taking place. This is the snow on the ground during the handcuffed episode, and these are the establishing shots of the house from that episode. Green vegetation doesn't make sense from a continuity perspective, so the only shots I can use for chronological examination are ones directly from the competition, and ideally with either Kenny or Spenny in the shot. Okay, let's get back to it. For spring cycle episodes, we're looking for the beginnings of buds or the formation of leaves. Awake, stand, mini comps, and fashion show. The chronology of spring cycle episodes is a bit simpler to determine just because the evidence is present in the shots. Awake is first because it immediately follows money. Because I know that Awake is first, the next three episodes were easy to put in order. This is a shot from Chef. To be clear, Chef is not in the spring cycle, I'm just using it to make a point. Notice the house across the street from the KVS house has this dense ivy growing up the side of the house. After a wake comes fashion show. Notice the lack of greenery on the side of that house. Make mental note of this area between the two windows here. And also this tree is sparsely blooming its leaves. Next is mini comps because we can see the area between the windows is still missing its ivy bloom, but that tree is denser with leaves. Therefore, mini comps comes after fashion show. Stand is fourth because we can clearly see the vines beginning to come in between the two windows and all over the rest of the wall. We can also have a quick look at haircuts to validate my conclusions. The spring cycle is awake, fashion show, mini comps, stand. The summer cycle is the most difficult to determine because all of the outdoor shots look the same. They all have beautiful green leaves and sunshine. So they are the majority of the remaining episodes. Chef, cow, beauty pageant, concert, parent, kids, strongest, convincing woman, actor, stripper, figure skater, woods, arms, and court case. Because every episode has fully bloomed trees, I need to sort this out based on haircuts alone. I started by arranging headshots in the order that the episodes aired. It looked to be pretty much in the correct order, except I swapped strongest and convincing woman based on Spenny's haircut. and I swapped actor and stripper based on Kenny's haircut. I also moved arms ahead of figure skater and woods based on Kenny's haircut. So the order I settled on for the summer cycle is chef, cow, beauty pageant, concert, parent, kids, convincing woman, strongest, stripper, actor, arms, figure skater, woods, and court case. The fall cycle is the shortest. It includes van and boxer. We can see the leaves changing colors in both episodes and they're in the correct order as well.
This tree is green in the van episode and it starts to change color in Boxer. But also Kenny got a haircut for the court case episode and you can see it grow out in van and Boxer in that order. Now, could I be mistaken on some of these? Sure. There's a couple of occasions where it was hard to tell which came first, so I had to make an educated guess and move on. Should actor come before stripper? It's possible. I feel as though I have a margin of error of two episodes or less. And what I mean by that is, should arms at 21 actually be 19, 20, 22, or 23? It's possible. Should arms at 21 actually be before strongest at number 18? or after court case at number 24. No, not a chance. That being said, I feel as though I solved the mystery in Who's the Better Chef when Spenny's mom says, Well, it's like, I mean, he's cheated every time as far as I know. The fan base has repeatedly pointed out that the only two episodes that aired before Chef were Lose Weight and Awake, where Kenny only cheated in Lose Weight. So what was she talking about when she says every time? Every time sounds like it's implying several episodes. Given the green foliage shown in Chef, she would have known about the outcome of all of the winter and all of the spring cycle episodes. For the record, at the time of her having this conversation with Spenny, the show had not premiered on television. So she would not have seen the cheating on TV, she'd only know what Spenny told her. If Spenny knew every occasion that Kenny cheated, then she knew about the cheating in Lose Weight, She Like, Handcuffed, Blindfold, Money, and Stand. And I get that some people would debate whether he actually cheated in some of those episodes, but don't forget that if Spenny perceives Kenny's behavior as cheating, then that's what he's going to report to his mother, and that's going to affect her opinion of the competitions. So, the big question. Why? Why did they rearrange the first five episodes of season one, and then air the rest of them in a relatively chronological filming order? A series gets one chance to make a first impression. Some series get cancelled after airing only 5 of 13 produced episodes. So the show needs to make a solid impression quickly. They had the choice to go with Kenny Cheats, Kenny Cheats, Annoying, Boring, and Kenny Cheats. Or switch things up to show the viewer how the dynamic can go back and forth and doesn't always weigh in Kenny's favor. Kenny Cheats, Fair Competition, Spenny Cheats, A Neck and Neck Uphill Battle, and character development. Once they establish proof of concept and the viewers are hooked, they can go ahead and switch over to Kenny totally dominating Spenny on a regular basis. Why did they stick 10, 11, 12, and 13 in that order or swap any of the other ones in the second half of the season? I don't know. Those are all the answers I had, so please feel free to speculate in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to help the channel and post up your own theories in the comments.